In the previous video, we have started implementing the Structure Manager script, so let's open it up and finish implementing it. So we have implemented this place house and this get random weight index method to get the relative will selection method to select our index, and we have returned this index and created a prefab. We have not introduced, uh, we have not implemented this place object on the map method, but before that, let's copy this place house method. And let's paste it below and let's call it place special. And all it will do is instead of placing a house prefab, it will place a special prefab. And we could, of course, refactor this to have a one method and just call the special or house prefabs array. But for now, let's leave it like this. And what we will need to do is to actually implement this place object on the map method. So right click on it and go to the definition. Great. So what we will need to do here is exactly the same as we are doing in the place temporary structure. So we are placing the temporary structure. Let's copy this code. Let's slide up to our place object on the map. Let's paste this code. We are going to change the parameters so cell type will be type. The prefab is structure prefab. Okay, we can rename it. And position is position. Great. But instead of adding to the temporary road objects, we are going to add it to the structure dictionary. And this will make this object be placed in the permanent structure dictionary instead of in the temporary dictionary for the road placement. Great. But there is one issue with our implementation. If we go back to Unity, we can see that we have trees and rocks on our map. And when we try pressing play and create a road, for example, it will be created below the tree. So let's go back to our script. And after placing our structure, we are going to call a destroy nature method. So destroy nature at, and we are going to pass the position. And let's alt enter on it generate this method, great, and we are going to copy the name and call the same method when we are placing temporary structures inside our structure dictionary. So this was at the end, add temporary structures to structure dictionary, and after adding each structure, we are going to call destroy nature add, and we are going to pass this structure key to destroy the nature below the temporary structures that are going to be transferred to the structure dictionary. Let's save it. Let's right click on the destroy nature method and go to its definition because we need to implement it. Okay. And all we need to do here is to raycast a box cast over the space. So we are going to call raycast. It array its equals physics dot box cast all. And we can see that it wants a center, half extent, direction, orientation, max distance, layer, mask, and all the fun stuff. And to be honest, it isn't perfectly described in the documentation. So let's see the documentation. Okay. So as you can see, the center is the center, half the size of the box is the half extent, the direction in which to cast the box, rotation, the max length. And to be honest, I'm not sure how it is casted and there is no way to debug this box, but I have uh, through this trial and error came across a way to destroy the nature by casting this box, I think correctly in this place where we are putting our uh, structure. So let's go back to Unity. So the center of our box will be our position and this is the position X, Z and Y is zero. So we will add to it new vector 3 and this will this doesn't have to be int and we are going to rise the box by 0.5 f above next we are going to give it a half extent so new vector 3 and we are going to give it half uh, length uh, the half extent will be half so the box will be of size 1 i think so 0.5 f on uh, each coordinate 
and this is the half extent of our box the direction will be transform dot up so this should be casted up above our position to the and the center of it will be position plus new vector three uh, half on y so that's why this is pretty confusing so i'm not quite sure how it is casting it because vector th uh, up is one space up but it is only uh, extending to 0.5 on y i think in anyways quaternion dot identity as the rotation and we will need to give it a layer mask the max distance will be one f and the layer mask will be one uh, less less this is bitwise operation and we are going to get the layer mask name to layer and we are going to type the nature or we could give it a layer mask as we did uh, previously so that's it and it should simply detect all the objects in this field in this space so we are going to call for each tab tab var item in hits so if we hit anything we are going to simply destroy and we are going to call item dot collider and we are going to access game object and that's it this should destroy the objects after we have placed our structure on it save it and be sure to type nature correctly so this is the same name as you have for your layer for the nature prefabs and now what we will need to do is let's go to our game manager I have it opened in the Visual Studio. Okay. And I have already opened uh, the methods special placement handler and house placement handler. All we need to do is copy the input manager on click. And we are going to assign our structure manager. And we do not have the access to it. So let's slide up and let's create public structure manager. Let's call it structure manager. So we are going to call structure manager and we are going to call place house because this is uh, this is special placement so place special okay and for the house placement let's copy this statement and we are going to simply assign place house okay great let's save it and now we should be able to go to unity okay after it compiles let's click play and now we can click on our house and there is ac uh, argument exception because we have not assigned it so we will need to create a new game object let's drag it outside of the game manager let's reset its transform let's call it structure manager okay let's drag our structure manager script here and of course we have our houses so let's go to our prefabs our structures and we have one two three four five six seven so let's create uh, let's select our structure manager let's create seven houses and we can lock this menu by using this lock icon in the top right corner of unity i think we have only five houses so let's set it to five and special size is two because this is bank and shop okay so let's assign our bank and shop by opening this element and assigning it and let's open the elements for the houses and let's assign our flat one flat two house one house two and house three great and we can assign the placement manager here as well and let's set the houses to be more often seen in the in our city builder and the shop as well and the bank let's set it to be 0.25 so this will be less often created and flat one and two as well 0.25 the weight great and let's choose our game manager and we need to unlock the lock in the unity and now we can drag our structure manager here to the game manager great so now finally we can run the unity and let's see if we can place our house let's choose the house let's try placing it must be placed near a road so let's start from creating a road now let's choose house and you can see that it is randomly chosen and special and we have index out of range exception for some reason so let's see what's going on here and we can see that i have selected a random index get random weight from house weights while we need the special weights so this is the 
downside of copying the code. So special ways. Let's save it. Let's go back to Unity. Let's stop our game and let's re-enable it. Okay. And let's place the road. And let's try placing the special. And you can see that the trees are disappearing and we can place the special so the house and the bank and we can place our houses more often there are single houses and sometimes it is flat this is the basis for our road placement system we can try placing a house on the road this position is not empty so everything works fine and that's it for this tutorial i hope you have enjoyed it if you did please leave a like leave a comment i have this pretty nice udemy course making a survival game in unity so if you are interested in this i will be posting a link in the description where you can get the discount for this course of course i would love to talk to you so please join the discord the link will be in the description as well and let me know what you think you're still here great i hope you have joined the discord so here as a thank you video this is a video about placing structures that are bigger than one by one cell. It will show you how you can create a system to place any size structure on your uh, map. So I hope you will enjoy it. Take care and see you in the next video.